Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a couple of hauls that I would like to share with you. I have a pretty sizable haul from the Goulet Pen Company. I also have a small haul from Jet Pens and a few other little miscellaneous things that I thought I would share with you guys. I am filming outside so I hope the lighting is okay. I know I need to hurry before I run out of sunlight. But the first thing that I will share with you is my small haul that I got from Jet Pens. I picked up this set of these Pilot Roller Balls. I'm not new to these pens at all. I just really enjoy them. And I had a few that were running out so I thought I would replace them. These are great if you like a, a finer tip, if you really like the Roller Balls. These are the needle point. This is the V5 so the point tip is 0 0.5. So I really like these. I also tried some new pens this time and these are the Secura Ball Sign and these are 0 0.4. I'm finding that I'm really liking a finer point these days um, to do my journaling and I picked up the navy blue, brown, and black and here you can see where I wrote with it so it's a nice fine line. I really like it. Um, the ends of these did have the little wax ball on the end. And so once I removed that and I kind of had to write with them for a little while and then I finally got them going and the ink flowing nicely and I really do like these. I believe these were $2.70 each. You can buy them as a set of 10 I believe for $27. Um, I didn't know if I was going to like these so I just picked up three. And the last thing I got from Jet Pens were these little speech bubbles and these are like a transparent film these are from the Midori brand and they do have other designs as well and I really like these these are super cute and I think they have hearts and like I said they've got several designs so I will link the jet pen store down below in the information box um, the one thing I like about ordering from jet pens here if you're in the States is that they do offer free shipping with a $25 order and they ship very quickly so that is very nice whenever you get the inkling to purchase new pens you can definitely get them to you quickly and they do have pretty affordable prices and I love the free shipping. I did add some new Lamy pens to my collection. I already had this one you guys have seen in uh, my previous videos. This um, lime green limited edition is my favorite. I did purchase um, this coral one here and also this blue green roller ball from Amazon and I also have a charcoal one coming as well. I'm finding that I'm actually liking the Lamy roller balls. I actually really love the fountain pens and sometimes I just you know want to pick up a roller ball and so these are really nice. I love the design of them. I love how they feel in my hand. I love just how they look. Um, this one is the Lamy All Star and this one is the Lamy Safari. This one is made out of aluminum and this one is made out of plastic. The All Star is slightly heavier. Um, I don't really tell a huge difference but it, it, there is a slight difference in case you were wondering. I also have this little, this came today actually. I purchased a little paper clip from an Etsy seller and she included this really cute card and this really cute note. But I picked up this paper clip. I thought it was super cute because it matches my Lamy pen. So I thought I would stick that in my Midori. I just thought that was super cute. And I will link her shop down below. I just thought that was super cute that um, she included a really nice thank you note. So I really appreciated that. Another pen that I have been really enjoying lately and you guys have heard me mention these before is the Pilot Disposable Fountain Pens and this one is actually in the fine nib and I love this. This is black ink. I actually purchased a set of five on Amazon and it was a really good price. I believe it was only 11 or $12 for five of them. So if you're new to fountain pens and you really don't know if you're going to like it before you make the investment, I really highly recommend trying the Pilot Disposables just to kind of check it out and see if it's something that you enjoy writing with and that you like before making the investment into something more expensive. And the rest of the items I have to share with you are all from the Goulet Pen Company. 
and I will put the link to their store down below as well. I will also link Brian Goulet's YouTube channel down below because he has a ton of videos of really excellent and very useful information, especially if you are new to the fountain pen world. He's got a ton of videos on there and a lot of them have really helped me. I did purchase this orange Lamy All-Star Rollerball in copper orange. I loved the color. I thought it would be awesome because I purchased the set up here and I also will have the matching fountain pen. I also picked one up in white. And another pen that I would like to recommend if you are new to the fountain pen world is this Platinum Preppy. And this is a Japanese pen and this is a really, I was actually really pleasantly surprised. Um, you can see here I wrote with it right there. So this is, this is not a disposable pen. You can definitely refill it and I believe you can purchase a converter. If not, they do have cartridges. Um, but I just thought that this was, I think, around $4. So again, this is another good pen if you are interested in trying out a fountain pen. I am also, I don't know what's wrong with me right now, but I am kind of in the process of wanting to try new notebooks, particularly in the smaller size. I'm kind of on a field notes kick right now. Matter of fact, I'm waiting on a field notes traveler's notebook from Buteo Bunker on Etsy and I cannot wait to get that so I've been trying out different you know smaller notebooks this one I picked up and this one is from Rhodia and this is just the regular graph paper and as you can see it is quite a bit smaller than the actual field notes but I just wanted to try this out so I picked up this notebook I picked up a couple of packs of field notes. I'm not new to field notes, but I wanted to make sure that I was well stocked when my new traveler's notebook came in the mail. I also picked up this Voitrum Jot Book, and this one is slightly, just slightly bigger than the field notes. It's a little bit taller, and it's just maybe a smidge wider, but it's it's pretty close so um, I've I'm definitely looking forward to trying this out I have other notebooks from this brand and I really really like it I also picked up two notebooks from Claire Fontaine and these are again kind of you know similar to the smaller size this one is the same exact size as the field notes and I picked up two of those I also picked up a Band of Apple Carnet in charcoal, and this will fit into my Midori. Again, I really like using the Midori inserts in my Midori Traveler's Notebooks, but I thought I would give this a try and stick this in my Mona Dori that I had mentioned in one of my previous videos. I picked up some Lamy Blue Black cartridges for my fountain pens, and I also picked up an extra rollerball refill. Another good thing about the Lamy's is that even though the cartridges are proprietary to their brands, you can also purchase a converter for about $5 if you would like to use bottled ink. So then you have more of a variety and more selection of different colors. And of course, if you prefer using bottled ink, you can definitely do that. I don't think that the Lamy pens are, I, I definitely think it's a good price range to start with. Um, the All-Stars, you know, anywhere between $35 and $40, depending where you pick them up. The Safari, you can get between $25 and $30. Again, I think it's a very reasonable price for the value. And the last thing I wanted to share with you guys is I got this gift set from Goulet Pens. And so you get a Lamy All-Star fountain pen. And the nib is fine, which I love. And you also get this Filofax notebook and they have several different colors and this set is I think $39.99 but the pen by itself I believe is $37.60 so that's a fantastic deal and the Filofax notebook is actually really cool it has several different features that I just think is kind of cool to have in a pocket notebook the fountain pen did come with the blue ink and I love the color. I think it is really cool with the orange pen. But this 
Filofax notebook comes like this and they actually give you a couple of extra pages with the back and then it has the elastic strap to keep it closed and then when you open it up here is what it looks like these pages are super easy to remove um, you can actually just pull these right off and then just press them right back in so that's a really cool feature I thought I also like the fact that you have a little ruler that you can use for a bookmark and this first divider also has a pocket so you can kind of stick receipts or whatever in there and then it has um, three other dividers and three other colors and you can just kind of you know divide this paper up if you want to and stick it behind these dividers if that is something you would like to do if you'd like to keep multiple subjects in your notebooks so I just thought this was really cool um, you know basically for a couple bucks extra you know you get this cool presentation box and you know you get this notebook along with a pen so I think this is a fantastic gift idea if you are looking for something to gift to someone who really is into pens and paper or fountain pens I think that's really awesome so that's all I have for you guys um, sorry I went through this so quickly if you guys have any questions at all or if there's anything else that you would like to see more in depth please leave them in the comments below. I will be happy to get back to you and answer your questions. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful week. Thank you. Bye-bye.